look at it. Look at me. I'm the, I'm that that 420 sub sub um, subscriber YouTuber that has no channel banner, because since I'm mobile, uh, YouTube doesn't give me a choice for that on mobile. All I have to do on a comp on con on a computer and. And the only computer we have is kind of dead and very, very slow anyways. Then my dad's laptop is, uh, my dad's laptop's the only thing we can use for that. But it's dead, I mean, no, not dead, it's just very slow and laggy. So, um, I don't think we'll ever, um, I don't think we'll ever escape this, um, diamond, uh, diamond looking gray banner here. How sad. So, before, we, before we, um... Actually, I'll save that for another video. I got like, um, like one, two, two request videos I gotta do today, or something, or maybe I think it might have been three. Um, I think we should check. Um, so, uh, oh, first off, why am I getting look at these recommended videos? Um, what, what is this? And then we also got this one. It's basically a, a, a GTA San Andreas meme. Just like, you picked the wrong house, fool. But YouTube, please don't recommend me um, girly looking videos. It's kind of weird. So, um, yeah, I got I got um, a few requests. Um, so we got we got this one, which is... Uh, was this the one we... Oh, no. This is not the one we did yet. I had no idea part two was going to be 30 towers long. How can we go from like 12 towers to 30? Man, crap. Man, that's that's an insane change. And I also got this, which which um I really hope the first request is um, a joke because you know it'll be a little hard changing the intro because I've been because that intro's been with us for a long time and I don't really feel like changing it. So, uh, so, yeah. And then the second one is, a uh, so a request video that I completely forgot existed, but it was right after, um, the Florida arc. I, I, um, I had to find, I had to dig up that video. But we're going to start with this here, which is going to, uh, take some time. Um, alright, so, I should probably split part two into two halves. This will just be the first half. So, um, we're going to go all the way from, from cell tower, from cell tower one to cell tower two. I mean, I mean 12, not two. If it was from one to two, that would be a very short video. So we're, we're going to go to, uh, 1000, you know, just one zero 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 one US 290 Austin, Texas. It's going to be, uh, let's, um, Texas, 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 Florida, 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 Georgia, 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 Georgia. Basically, um, we're visiting two places I've been to, Florida and Georgia. I have yet to be at Texas. But one day, my family plans on going there one day. Hopefully I get to um, at least visit Fort Worth or something. It'll be nice to film the the Broadcast Hill Towers because you know those are the the main tower at least is an awesome tower. It has 309s on it, rare beacons, right? I'm pretty sure there's only one. It's only one tower on this road. I mean highway. You can clearly see. For some reason, I've been getting a lot of luck with. Um, with um, immediately spawning at the right area where the the right spot where the tower is, but this here, I see nothing. Oh, I think that might be it. So a little simple monopole. It looks old school too. So one thing you always see on highways is a, is a monopole. Um, Dexter told me that um, the closest tower to his house is a—it's uh, a monopole with two. It has 
a monopole with two dual strobes on top. Basically, it's a double dual. I just realized something. Look at, look at the white dot, the giant white dot on the screen. That's supposed to tell the the name of the road I'm on, but it looks like my phone's been glitching out this entire day, so um, it's completely blank. Is am I right? There ain't no street view very very close to it. This is the closest street view, and it looks beaconless too. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I um, after making these videos, I'm I, sometimes wonder if I even got the right towers and stuff. I hope that tower down there is going to be next. So we are no longer in Ox Austin, Texas. Uh, no, it's weird. I don't know why I expected that. It does that every day. What are you expecting, Big LT? Uh, so um. That sunlight, though. When it comes to street view with um with the with the sun um with the sun um setting like this here, usually any tower in uh, in the in the sun's path usually gets absorbed into the light, so it's very hard to find towers like that. I wonder if that's it. Uh, oh, that's just a church. I thought that was some sort of four-legged one, four-legged tower. Well, um, I'm not having that much luck with finding a tower here. Um, it's just like that one time in that one video where ninety percent of the ninety percent of the towers were uh, had single strobes and stuff. Yeah, it's just like it's just like that that last place that we um, that I had to look at, like it, there was no towers on that, and and there's a disappearing tower somewhere around that area too. But really, there was nothing. Uh, it said um, two to three. And that's four towers, but I must uh, this here is not the right one. They all look they all look like those same beaconless towers from episode one. Part one, you know, since it's not a series, I that's what I meant to say. You see, they they're probably the same tower, but I just realized there's a fourth tower. Or maybe they're or maybe the fourth tower is dead or something. No, I don't wanna go back. I wanna go forward. Um not too sure. Oh, man. The street name changes every time I um, click and every time I move forward. That's very confusing. Like seriously, stop changing. Oh, it didn't change. Oh, it changed. Where's this tower at? I don't know where it is. It said two. Oh, wait, there's two of them. It's two to three. I did see a tower in the distance while um, while rotating around this area, but I think we'll have to uh, over there. Or, uh, let, let's go over here. There's there's no trees blocking our way, so um, I'm just going to guess that's a distant tower, which might be that one or something. Or uh, oh, there's that one tower. That means that this this direction is where the distant tower is. See, that's the one I've seen. Uh, you know, you know what? Let's view the monopole first because that's the first tower I found here. Okay, um, there really is no tower on that street. There's only towers around it. This monopole is another disappearing tower. Uh, man, come on. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Oh, this is beaconless. It's a basic monopole. It's not as basic as what we get in Rala. Alright, so this next tower is uh, far away here. And, and Barker, uh, Barker, Barker here. Barker Hills. That's what it is. Um, I fear this, this is going to... Okay, never mind. Alright, um, that's not a tower. 
Where's this thing at? Um, oh, I think that's, yeah, that's it. So it has three sets of antennas and not two. I have to guess what beacon it has. It's probably, uh, oh. Well, hello there. If I would have known. Wait. How? Those, those, um, what? Those are just, those are just right over here somewhere. What? How tall are those things? Man, crap. And those are taller than I, those are taller than I thought. But there are no beacons. They must be different towers are close. I can't see any tower on this field. Not a single one. All right, back to um, looking at this tower. I would guess this has a a dual strobe because it's uh that's like the most popular. The, it used to be the most popular beacon of all time, really. Um, I was just about to say, those were mar those are markers, but those are actually holding onto the wires. You see, there's more. Uh, looks like this one's beaconless, unless it has a single strobe somewhere on the very top. What's the deal with um, Google Maps censoring random crap? Uh... I can see something, but I can't really see it that clear. All right, we're looking at four, four and five, which um, the four, which one of these towers looks uh, very tall. So if it doesn't, if it doesn't have two sets of beacons, then I would be pissed. And there's also a water tower there. I don't know if he includes that as the fifth or just one of the towers, really. I don't know. But there is... I don't know. There, there, I don't know if there's another cell tower around here. These are the only two towers I know of that are here. So, um, like I usually do, let's um, scale up to the top. And those... Um, those look suspiciously, suspiciously like uh, incandescent markers. Modern incandescent markers. Does this have the good old incandescent and strobe, strobe and incandescent um, beacon setup? Oh, those are 3000 bees. Well, I'm not disappointed because those beacons um, need to be more common than they are now. They have like three night modes. Like you got your um, your slow flash night mode, your medium flash night mode, and then your quick flash night mode, which flashes like the the um, the FH row eight on its slow night mode flash. So there's that one, which um, the red is literally taking over the beacon. And then this one, um, this one looks like it only has markers. So yeah, that's um. That's all it has. This tower looks newer as well. I wonder if it's another 2016 tower with strobes. For some reason, I thought that tree was a long lines tower. I was just like, I see horns. Then, yeah. I was just like, no, it was a tree. Now we're in Florida. So, um... I don't know if we should. Uh, let's just go on the street, I mean the the neighborhood, and find this tower. This here only has one tower. There's no tower in this certain area. So uh, maybe going down a little farther. Um, uh, fifty third. What? Ah, man. So we got um. This here is 36, 53rd, 53rd, 50, um, 53rd, 53rd, 34th, 34th. Like, this here is all the same road, but with, like, three or four different names. Oh, yeah, I think I might have found it. And it has a dual strobe, too. Kind of spoiled it for myself. I found, uh... That one looks even cooler. It reminds me of the... 
Reminds me of the one cell tower in Sullivan that has uh, the rewired dual strobe. So where's this one tower at? Uh, let's check out 66th Street. Thank God this is not Old Street View. Oh, it's down there. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no, there's some there's, um, highway view. I should start calling this. As you can see, that's proof that it's a dual strobe. Right when I seen something sticking out of this of the tower, I immediately known it was a dual strobe. They tend to always stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, where's this other tower? Just in case, just in case, if we don't get to uh, view this tower in this video. I just want to look at it as a little bonus, but if it is included, if it is included in the video, then I kind of spoiled it for myself. Just right here. Uh, there it is. Hey, look, this is just this is the exact same. Both towers have dual strobes on the on the edge of the top platforms. But man, man, this here is just much cooler. This here is so much cooler than that that other tower down there. Has much more antennas. You got um, but you got the top platform. You got um, you got one, two, three, four, five platforms, and four of them have antennas. While the while the other one, the only use that the top platform has is really just holding the the dual strobe. That's uh, literally the only thing it's doing. So I wonder. If, I wonder if some tower platforms are just are specifically designed for stuff like that, like holding dual strobes and stuff. So um, I think that's it. Well, of course that's it. You of course that's it, Landon. You stupid. We have made it to our next location. 38 West Belmont, uh, West Belmont Street. Are you dictating your fucking obituary to me, Belmont? Yeah, no, I had to do. Okay, so um, where is? I can tell this is going to be another hard one since this is a a more crowded neighborhood. So um, maybe going out the the very edge of this neighborhood, I can find this tower this is why I hate looking for towers in neighborhoods they're near impossible to find like how can you find them seriously they're, they're hard to find so um let's check this side uh uh um there is no tower that I can see, but um, let's find out um, if I got the the right place. No, nope, looks like I got the wrong place. This is uh, th this was at um, Bay Shore, New York, and uh, what I'm supposed to go to is um, somewhere in somewhere in Pensacola, Florida. So um, we need to redo that. Man, it would be nice if they actually um, located me to Pensacola, Florida instead of Pennsylvania. Oh, finally. Now we found it. Now we can find a tower, finally. Oh, man, I think I already found it. Uh, but is there another one here? Um, 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 um. It doesn't look like it. Looks like that there is the only tower. It looks like a tower that would have a three thousand B on it. I'm bet I bet it's going to have a three thousand B. Out of all dual strobes, that's the beacon I expect it to have. Uh, there, there it is. Those look like uh, three thousand B markers, just like that one tower. <gasps> oh, never mind. I, um, let's try this again without cell antennas blocking it. Here it goes, here it goes. <gasps> what? Wait, what? Is that? 
Santa and FH three oh six. What what is this? That that um kinda has the shape of uh it kind of has the shape of of a cone strobe as well. Let's um look on the other side. The, the let's look behind the tower and find out. Uh there it is. So you got the markers. Then you got the okay, more even more sentinels are blocking it in this in this direction. Why can it why can it not be on a raised platform? Hey good old maps. I didn't tell you to uh to uh when I, I when I told you to smoke weed I didn't tell you to snort it. That fixed the problem. Uh I wish this Google thing would just go away permanently. Um the sunlight. The sunlight's blocking that. Oh, um, it's right at the edge of the top. It's just leaning. I mean, not leaning, but just, just there. So, um, I didn't expect to see a tower with a 306 in this video. So, um, how many more towers le um, left before I reach the, um, the limit that I want to, uh, that I want to, uh, stop at? Hmm. Um, we got eight, nine, ten, eleven, until that's uh, th those are the only ones left until we get to twelve. So, uh, so um, now we got to look at eight and nine, which it's a it's going. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be a duel. So let's hope that it's uh, let's hope that it's going to be a great duel. All right, guys, I'm. Trying to prevent myself from getting into a sneezing fit, so I'm going to press my tongue on the roof of the mouth of, of the roof of my mouth, of mouth, so I won't talk. Well, I think it's safe to say that I prevented myself from getting into a sneezing fit. Because every time I sneeze once, I sneeze like a billion more times after. So, I think I found something else. Oh, that's just a highway light. So, um, we got a beaconless monopole here. I was hoping for this one to have a beacon. Oh, wait. This is supposed to be two. I wonder if that water towers is. I wonder if the water towers is, is the one. So uh, yeah, it looks like it might be. So um, there it is. Hopefully there's markers on the railing so I can have a. Um, oh, uh, I think. Are those it? No, they're too small. I would think. I don't. I don't see any markers on the railing. Sadly. Uh yeah, those the, these are way too small. Man, way way too small. But uh, the Dafu, what is that? Is that why? Why are you blurring that that building out? Why are you blurring the building out? Leave it alone, man! Crap. I, I kind of lost my chance. Um, thanks a lot, Google Maps. Now I, now I can't find out what that is exactly. So, um, where where was I? Let's just start over here. No, no, I don't want to. I want to move. I just want to um, look around and whatever. Where are these towers at again? Hmm. That's what I hate about small towers. They always disappear because they always get blocked by by trees and buildings and whatever. 
Alright, well, I ain't going to give up. I ain't going to give up yet. Uh, um, is that it? Is this it? Uh, something? Or, I don't know. Let's go back to the water tower and find it here. So that's where we were. And, uh, uh, what? what? Well, no, we, that can't be a part of the. <gasps> Holy sh. And that's a long lines. I also found these towers. So, um, if my, if I'm right, that might be some sort of beacon. That is, uh, not some sort of beacon. Uh, well, there goes some, all my work of trying to find that. Alright, alright. I want to look at that long lines tower. That, that, the, 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 the gate, the fence, I meant to say, is blocking it. There it is. Sadly, its horns are removed. But I'm still looking at it, because it might have a cool beacon set up. I can't believe this thing was trying to hide from me. I could have possibly, I could have missed it. I could have just passed it by thinking that it was part of that one building. Um, um, storms brewing. Okay, where's this thing at? Where's this little one at? We're going back to square one. This is not where I want to be. I want to be up, not down. Alright. I can see, uh... Well, uh, hey, look at that. I, I, caught, a, I caught a tower's beacons flashing. Uh... Alright, there it is. I... You're telling me I spoiled it again? See, I told you, dual strobes are so, um, are so easily, are, e are easy to look at and stuff. Wait, is that it? I think, I, I think so. I can see why it was so hard to find. It's because it, it was standing on a building. And the building's probably the same color as the tower. Because it was, uh, okay, no, the tower's still running white. I see... Two markers on the same leg. Did they, um, I know, um, um, most long line towers um, used to have incandescence. So I would know that this has leftover incandescent markers because it probably used to have an incandescent, most likely. So, if so, then that, does that mean they, um, does that mean it just left the the one of the incandescent marker sets and and put the new put the new um, dual strobe um, beacon marker set on it or something? Not too sure. So um, let's find out if this really is a dual strobe. Oh, that's a single strobe. Something? No, no. I I want to be on this street. Please. Ah, uh, now I can't see it. That cell antenna is blocking my view. What happened to the blue line? I don't know why it always disappears. So, this is... What? What are you telling me? It, it's, this, it can't be beaconless. No, not that. Anything but beaconless, uh, not anything but some sort of beaconless, uh, some sort of be beaconless uh, long lines tower. Nobody wants that. I want all of them to have beacons. Even though I do know my favorite long lines tower used to be beaconless, but at least um, after its modification, it gained a white only LED, so it has a beacon. It's the first time I've ever seen a white only LED and and actually known actually known what it was too. The first time I actually seen one, I thought it was just a, a FH real eight stuck on night mode. You're not telling me this is beaconless. Uh at least it, I hope it at least has markers, right? Just 
I think those might be markers. Man, I fully expected this to have some sort of single strobe. And then I, and then I thought it had a dual strobe. And now I find out that it has markers maybe. Or it might be completely beaconless and stuff like that. This one's in a familiar area. Welcome back to uh, Orlando, Florida. It's a place I've been to millions of times. Wait. I recorded this tower. This this had a beacon all along. It. I had no idea this had a beacon. And I um kind of forgot it also had something that kind of looked like an upside down dead bird. Or that might be a dead bird stuck on the tower. Not too sure. I think it'll be pretty funny to see a dead bird stuck on a tower. I I never known that it had a beacon. I didn't see it flashing at all when I seen this in person. But I was filming something, or maybe I didn't film it, or maybe I did. I I I, I I'm forgetting if I did or not. But I do know this tower. I I I don't even remember. I don't even remember seeing a a, a flashing beacon on it. Um, either it has an LED and it wasn't working, or it's just got its beacon removed and never replaced. Not too sure, but I swear I didn't even see that um, blink. Um, um, see, I was on this highway going to uh, downtown Orlando. Somewhere around downtown, you know. I seen this tower along with a monopole with a beacon, and uh, and I was just like, uh, I was just like, ooh, I I like that one tower in the back. Hopefully, it has a beacon. And then I couldn't see anything flashing, and I don't remember that tower. Where's that monopole at? Or maybe this might be a clone tower. I don't know. Kind of confusing now. That looks too wide to be that one tower we just looked at, right? Um. Yeah, it's a different tower. Now, this is getting pretty confusing. I don't remember ever seeing that tower. And that monopole that I, that I seen with that other tower is not any... Oh, wait. Oh, I was looking the wrong way. So, there's... Alright, that might be different. I don't remember it being that far away. And I remember the you see the antennas are facing that are facing this way. I remember when I seen it they were facing that way. Not the way they are now. So it might be a different tower unless if I find that one monopole. Yeah, I don't I'm you know how I said I recorded it? I'm starting to doubt that I recorded it. You know. Where is this? What part of, uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we weren't actually in this area of Orlando, um, but, you know, not too sure, but I do know there is a tower that looks just like that one tower we just looked at, that one there. There's a tower that looks just like it, but beaconless, maybe. Alright, so I'm here in United Way the street I don't think there's a city that's called United Way I bet there's like a, a tiny 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 town that's probably called United Way cuz that sound because United the, the name United Way kinda sounds like that small town name you know it's the the name that every small town would usually have or yeah you know I, I did find this and like I said before those look completely like they actually no they actually look like um, FH Real Eight markers too. I seen um, I seen the video of um, I seen the video of um, uh, uh, John Boyox um, um, three hundred six and it, it, and he showed he showed the markers too and they look flat like that small and round and flat. So I think that might be. Well, I think it is. 
Woo hoo 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 hoo. Look what I found. I do remember seeing a, a guide tower in the, in the distance at night that um, it had markers, but it was shining white and kind of red at the same time, you know. I wonder if it's this. I don't know how far away I was. So I, was like, I was like down at the parking lot of, um, is that the parking lot? One of the few parking lots uh, of um, Universal, um, Universal Park. Um, where is Universal at? I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, there. It's uh, it's farther away, but I bet that might be a tower that I seen. But there was also another tower on night mode that had a three thousand. I mean, no, it had a modern LED. There's only one tower that I know of down here that has down in Orlando that has a a modern and modern LED. It's a tower that used to have a cone. I mean, not no, not cone strobe, but just a normal. FH-08. I don't know why I said cone strobe. Yep, it had an FH-08, but it was um, horribly replaced by a white and red LED because, you know, it's a great tower, so there is uh, there's a very, very low chance it would ever get an, uh, a night mode only LED because, you know, great towers are supposed to shine or supposed to have beacons that shine white or red or white. In some cases, they can only shine red, but, you know, some some don't. I mean, like, 99% of gray towers shine white or red or white. Not only red. Come on, people. I found a water tower, water tower with a purple base. We can check that out. And since, uh, since, um, since, um, oh, that's blue. And since um, other water towers on this list were considered as main as one of them as as main towers, you know, um, I would think that this is one of the. I mean, not one of them, but this this is the only one on this street that he told me to look at. This is the only one I can find. Um, yep, this here is Tower Twelve. This here is going to be the last tower for the first half of Part Two. No, I want to go, I want to, I want to, can you, can you, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I would guess this has some markers on it. A water tower this cool, I would easily put, I would put an FA-308 on this, really. I don't know why, it's, it just reminds me of a water tower that would have a 308 on it. I don't know why, but it just looks like a tower that would only shine white. If not, then markers, really. So, those are my only choices. But I bet this has markers on it. Uh, since I can't really see if they are, mar if, they, if this has some markers on, if this has markers or not, we'll just have to look um, on the other side of the road. All right, that might be a little too far, but eh. I don't see anything. It's uh, probably hidden by the Celentinas or something. So um, that's going to be it for the first half. I'm going to take a break because my phone is hot again. It's pretty hot, and uh, and my phone needs charge too. So so yeah, I'll um. I'll see you guys in the second half of part two. See you guys later. Bye.